this is the Cold Steel Soldier's Targe. Uh, the problem being, of course, is that it's not a Targe. It's a buckler. Nothing wrong with bucklers, but it's not a Targe. So the project today is to turn this into more of a Targe with a better strapping system and, uh, prefer and hopefully a central uh, spike on its boss. For future reference, it's a 10 millimeter, which if you've ever had a socket set is the one that's always missing. So one thing that's convenient about this, after I took off the handle, there's this nice ridge going back and forth, making aligning where your hand's gonna go relatively easy. So one of the goals on this is that I should be able to hold, right, my dirk or whatever in this hand and have it still extend beyond the edge of the uh, tartar here. So that's how I'm gonna sort of choose. And obviously you can see where I wanna put my handle that I can overlap those two. Mark that out a little bit. And put the forearm. This is going to be fairly close to the boss. Maybe a little closer to the forearm to be there. Getting my strapping ready. I'll trim this later when it's... So I'm only doing the forearm piece first. Uh, I'll strap that in, and then um, I can make sure that that's gonna fit well for my hand. And I'm set actually as close to the boss as I can. Uh, and I've got not a terribly long arm, so I'm up against the edge of where the boss is on the other side, and I didn't wanna deal with uh, trying to hit, you know, hit that incline over there. So it's gonna pull back my forearm just a little bit from where I wanted it. Well, the easy part's done. Strapping set up. Um, I can play around with the tightness on that, but that looks pretty good. Probably have a light glove on that hand. I'll punch some extra holes in here and give me some, some looseness for my forearm. Uh, adjustable, depending on what kind of forearm uh, gear I'm wearing. So, right now, that's working pretty well. So, again, that's the easy part. Now to put in this spike. So, this is the spike, the Cold Steel Rondell. Um, I'm going to cut it off right above the handle here, and then it's going to give me this spike with this base around the uh, bottom of it.
So, let's give me a, my spike and a base that'll sit inside the boss. That wasn't awesome. And so that rondel has the a triangular base here. So I drilled a hole in the center here to give my jigsaw uh, a chance to uh, be able to move around. And uh, I'll just sketch the triangle on here to get a rough estimate for it. So, got the triangle working. It's not big enough, clearly. I'm gonna have to trim that out. Where's my spike? Yeah, not even close. So, uh, there'll be some carving out to do, so start working on that next. So this has been kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, I underestimated the size of the triangle and so it's taken some time to cut it out a little bit. But to the point there, I'm gonna force it a little bit here. <laughs> I don't know how big the spike actually was on th those old ones but I think this will work. <laughs> so, there you go. Uh, right now that just pressure fit in. Um, I'm probably, you know, and it's, it's the Santa Preen flex on there, but for catching a blade, I think it'll work. So the next step is is take into a sparring night at some point. So I don't know how you can see it in the in the garage there, but uh you can sort of see the, the range on that here. So pretty happy with it. I think I wanna say that the historical ones I've seen spikes of like twelve inches, something like that, and that's pretty close to what that is. So I think that works out quite nicely. Uh, there's probably going to have to be some reinforcements later to secure this because right now again that's just pressure fit in there so I can pop it back in I suspect after some use that's going to come loose. I'll probably put a bar across that to hold that into place but uh, for our first run I think uh, it's been a success. Super happy with it. Uh, again, have to see how it holds up in sparring but should be should be good. So yeah, uh, cool project. Fun to do. Um, probably took an hour, something like that, so if you have the right tools. So, hope that helps.